love of cinema began when, as a child, I was taken to see Bambi. I well remember being both enthralled and frightened, particularly when Bambi's mother was shot. Later, during a misspent youth, I worked as a part-time projectionist, earning the grand sum of a half a crown a night, plus a free seat to any show. My taste then was for 1950s B-movie, horror films and science fiction, all quite laughable these days. The cinema in question was the Carlton in Rawns, which is long gone. All I have left now is an old black and white photograph of the interior. The building still exists, but now made over to retail use. The operating system used was similar to the projection room seen here at the Ritz Rushton. Two projectors were used, each being meticulously laced up by hand. Each reel of film ran for about 20 minutes, which necessitated frequent changeovers from one machine to another. Passing an electrical current between two carbon rods, the carbon arc system, created the light source. The first projector that I owned when I started making and collecting films in the 1970s was a UMIG, similar to this one shown in a promotional film. Thailand films produce sound films which have far more effect. And so that your sound accompaniment arrangements don't remain unresolved in a welter of technicalities, you should acquire a sound projector in which all the techniques of a film studio are incorporated and which automatically, with no problems, conjures up good sound for your film. Well, as ever, according to manufacturers, everything is automatic. No need for talent or to learn filmmaking techniques. However, I digress. I always hoped to create my own home cinema but it wasn't until moving to Haywards Heath in 1990 that my dream became a reality. A friend from Eastbourne helped me to acquire some ex-cinema seats from the old Tivoli Theatre there. In 1994, when these scenes were shot, projection was mainly film-based, using an Elmo GS1200 machine for Super 8 and a Bell & Howell TQ1 for 16mm. My earliest venture into video projection also took place about this time when I obtained a second-hand three-tube CRT model. This was fed from VHS and Laserdisc. In 2008, after various makeovers, the cinema is now entirely digital, using a Panasonic AE1000 full 1080p High definition projector. In the old days, buying a feature film, even second hand, was a rare occurrence with prices at well over £100. Today, with the advent of DVDs at £5 or less, my collection, like Topsy, has grown. Looking back, the old methods of film projection seem ancient compared with modern digital techniques but I'll always have a soft spot for film. You just can't hold a DVD up to the light and see beautiful sprocket holes and wonderful frames of real film. <laughs>